<coughs> Greetings, unsettled souls. Uh, welcome back to the correct views. A couple of stories to get to yet. Uh, depending on what morning you watch these in, I guess it doesn't matter when I say that anymore. Um, this is some Yahoo News. Afghanistan Aviation Authority advises transit aircraft to reroute. Don't you love how Yahoo News always finds a way to word things in a way that would be a little bit softer to the Democrat Party when they do something stupid? Oh, I don't know, like taking the troops out before you take the people out of Afghanistan. That kind of stupid. If Joe Biden had done it, uh, excuse me, if Donald Trump had done it, they would have given it the headline which it should have. The headline which you should be reading is Due to rocket attacks at planes, travel has been told to avoid Kabul. There's a good headline. That's an accurate headline, though, because Yahoo News couldn't be bothered with that because it might actually paint the truth about what kind of leadership we actually have in the country, which obviously isn't Joe Biden. We know this. Come on now. Here, let me zoom in on the story for you. This is ridiculous. By the way, I'm getting a camera, so I won't have to keep doing this. The lights will be perfect. Afghanistan Aviation Authority advises transit aircraft reroute. What a Jamie Feed Freed's an idiot. The Afghanistan Civil Aviation Authority said on Monday that Kabul airspace has been had been released to the military and that it advised transit aircraft to reroute, according to a notice to airmen on the website hastening some airline route switches. They also think that uh, civilian aircraft. Jetliners may have been taken to the Cabal Airport to get people out. I've seen some people say that that did happen, and some outlets, I should say, saying that that didn't happen. So I do want to mention it. Uh, and from what I can gather, it seems that most of the people who they talked to on the ground said, yeah, that we did, you know, bring some flights. And, and the reason I mention that is they would be less equipped to be able to deal with a surface-to-air rocket uh, than uh, a military aircraft would. Also... It's almost impossible to hit an airplane with a rocket launcher. We do believe it was done once, of course, and the government tried to hide it. Uh, but it's hard to do. The scary part is, and this is why you listen to the correct views, you hit share, you hit subscribe, God bless you, thank you, is because I'm going to point out something you haven't thought of. They now have eight or nine billion dollars in weaponry that can do a pretty good job of taking an airplane out of the sky. Thank you, Uncle Sam. United Airlines and British Airways and Virginia, Virgin, excuse me, Atlantic, had already stopped using Afghanistan airspace after insurgents took control of the presidential palace in Kabul as U.S.-led forces departed and Western nations scrambled on Monday to evacuate their citizens. ACAA said any transit through Kabul airspace would be controlled and it advised surrounding flight information regions that control airspace. A Malaysian Airlines plane was shot down over eastern Ukraine in 2014. And uh, they said that there's, in the recent years, of course, there have been two deadly incidents. That was one of them involving surface-to-air missiles. Okay, we had... Let me remind you of something. We had air superiority in that country. Now, I'm not saying that we should have been there, and I'm certainly not saying that we should go back. We shouldn't have withdrawn the way we did, but we should have withdrawn. But here's what I'm saying. We had air superiority, the likes of which the world, the, the envy of the entire world, I would say, from the time that aviation had started. We, con we controlled what birds cracked on what trees in Afghanistan. We had everything we needed to get people out of the country orderly. Donald Trump had laid out the plans to do it. What happens if you don't? Well, we might not leave. We might kick our feet up and stay for another 20 years. That was incentive. Because we were already there, so we, we, we could do that. We were already there. We can't now. We laughed. I mean, theoretically we could, but it would be cumbersome now. I'm not saying that we should. Please don't. Sam said we should go back to Afghanistan. That's not what I said. But when we had control of it, we also were able to say, look, 
everything we say as we leave, we get. If we don't want red M&Ms in a bowl, then you're going to take the red M&Ms out of the bowl. If we ask you to do 20 push-ups, you're going to do 20 push-ups and ask if you could do another 20. And you're going to do that up until the point where we leave your country or we're going to stay here for so long that your beard's going to grow down to the bottom of your scrotum. Do you understand? It is that simple. He blew it. He blew it. And now we have rockets allegedly being shot or planned to be shot at our planes as we try to bring our people home and the people who were loyal to us. This is why I begged people. I was on the Trump train. I went to D.C. twice. I went to Harrisburg. I tried so hard. And now, now we're seeing that when we own the skies, we left. And now as we try to bring people home, those skies are filled with enemy rockets, many of them with the technology, at least in theory, to be able to ping them out of the sky. And you know what? Let me put the icing on the cake for you. We trained them, remember? We trained them. And a lot of them have jumped ship. A lot of them had to jump ship to keep their head on their shoulders. Some of them did it because they wanted to. Some of them were never loyal to the U.S. to begin with. They were always Taliban. They were just hiding it until we left. What I'm saying is they know how to use this equipment because we showed them. Now we get to sit back and watch how well they do. That's a correct view, unfortunately. Hit share, hit subscribe. Make sure you get a hold of me at the correct views at hotmail.com.